Hey there everyone, my name is Corey and welcome to the channel. So today we got a project up at the Little Creek Cottage that is not really unique to a off-grid property, but we do have to make some improvements around here. We got some stuff that's getting pretty old and got to get it updated so that way it doesn't fall apart on us anytime soon. Now looking at that garage door, you would think it's 100 years old. The latch on it is broke. We got padlocks on there to lock it and it's just delaminating and falling apart. It never really was a good quality door to begin with. It's lasted about 40 years, so it owes us nothing. Now this door here, I recently replaced about two years ago. I know, I know I need to do the trim as well, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. It is on the project list for this year, but it's just not done yet. And I did transfer the, over the old handle, but obviously you can see it's crooked and we don't have any latches on this door. All the latches are in the inside, so we have to lock it from the inside and go through the other door to get through. So I got on trusty old Amazon and ordered this Rekey security replacement lock system. Comes with all the latches and pretty much the whole kit. So we're gonna go ahead and get that installed on this door today. And then when we put the new door up on the other side, we'll be able to put another lock set on that one. That way if one breaks, we always have the other entry to get in. So since I transferred all the hardware off of the other door, first thing we're gonna have to do is get that taken off. I don't know why nothing can ever be easy. I did, however, get it apart. It took me a few minutes, but I got it. The first step, according to the instructions, is to take this template, cut it out of the instructions itself, and then paste it on the door where you want your handle at. If you've already had a pre-existing handle there, they say you can skip this step. I have the center hole already, and I don't have the two side holes for the side screws. So I'm gonna go have to go ahead and mount those, or drill those. If you have to drill a new hole, you're gonna to wanna to use a 7 16 inch drill bit for the center hole and a 5 16 for each side hole. Now my center hole is quite a bit larger than a 7 16 but it will work. So I just gotta use this template and go ahead and drill out the two uh, 5 16 holes. All right, my center hole is already there. So I'm just gonna place the template right over the center of it. And I'm gonna mark with a pencil. I don't have no tape to drill directly through. So I'm just gonna mark my holes with a pencil and then drill them that way. I always do that. I do have a brace on in the inside, so I gotta go through both of them. First thing you want to do is, they don't say this in the instruction, but they give you these spacers. Since there's no support here, what you'll want to do is get that spacer up in there and then pull your lock back in, line the hole up so that way when you tighten the screw, it doesn't crush the frame of the door. They also don't say in the instructions which way the actuator actually goes, whether the lever goes at the top or the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and try the top. I'll let you know if it's wrong. <laughs> All right, next step is gonna to be to put your striker plate on and it's gonna fit right over your latch hole. You know, line it up with the two holes and then use your track bolts, which are these ones right here, the one with the rounded head. And then you put it in from the back side here, the rounded head will go on the inside so that way your roller can stay up and down and then your bolts will go on, or your nuts will go on the outside. They do not provide washers for these, just so you know. I may actually get a set of washers and put those on later. Okay, we got the striker plates on. Now what I did is I lined up my latches with the holes just to make sure they line up. They do say drill additional holes if needed. And they also say to do this with obviously with the door closed and to have a person inside and outside if you only have one door. Next step in the instructions is to go ahead and put your spring latches on. Now I already had holes, large holes here, so the screws they provided won't work for me. 
Um, they may work for you if you can attach to one of these smaller, smaller holes. So I've got my own nuts and bolts from the previous door latches that I'm going to use. So line it up with your latch and get it finger tight, or your striker plate, excuse me, and get it finger tight. And then just make sure it hits and then tighten it down when you got it the correct adjustment. And the next step of the instructions is to go ahead and put your cable through there. What you're going to want to do is come to the back side of it, stick your cable through the hole, and then pull it all the way through. This end right here is going to latch into that. And that way when it pulls on it, it'll pull it open. All right, now they want you to take and do a bolt through here and a nut on the back side and just wind the wire in it and then bolt it down tight. Now I bought little crimper ferrules for mine to make a loop. Either way, you do want to make sure it's tight. And also the left side of the door, left side of the door as you're facing the inside is going to go on the bottom and then the right side will go on at the top hole. I'm gonna go ahead and get my wire crimped and get it bolted down so that way it's nice and tight. And then I'll be back in just a second. Just a forewarning, the holes that they have in the, the lack, latch actuator aren't big enough for the bolts they sent you, so you will have to drill those out to fit the bolts. I used the Unibit, they drilled out pretty easy. All right, so here's my first one finished. As you can see, I put the little ferrule clips on there. I did use one of the rubber washers from one of the other pieces of hardware that they used that I, I didn't need. Um, it's got a washer with a rubber backing on it, so it actually holds it pretty tight and nice and in place. I can't stress enough, you have to get this cable tight enough so that way when this turns, it's, t it's tight enough to actually pull on that latch and pull it open enough to get, get it off the striker plate. Mine is actually almost too loose. I can take it off and just twist it a couple of times and that will shorten it up a little bit, but you're not gonna get much out of it. Something else that I forgot to mention, so I might as well do it now, is when you're putting your, your handle in and your actuator on, there is a, they do provide you with a speed nut to put over this to hold it temporarily in place until you get your screws. Now the best way to put that on, line this up with the, the square hole here, put it on the end of the socket, hold it on there, and then you can tap it on with a hammer. And now the moment of truth. So that's going to close and lock the door on another episode, so to speak. If you have any questions on how to install it, please ask them in the comments below. Have a great day and God bless.